Hi there fellow players, fellow viewers, fellow supporter, family members. You become a supporter family member when you subscribe to the channel and then, and then boop. You remember? <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm Tommy, this is Hard Made Easy. I played this uh, game, Survivor IO, for 200 days and learned a lot uh, about the game. And now I get some re requests from you guys to do some chapter tutorials. These are the chapters I have, have gotten requests of. Uh, it's nine chapters. I will do three chapter on each vid video. I will do uh, each chapter with setup that is not that high, uh, but you you should have gotten uh, that uh, equipment or equal when you have reached that chapter. And we will start off with chapter 33. This is uh, what I got. I think you uh, have this by now when you are at chapter 33. If you don't, you don't have to, have to push chapters that hard. I know it's tempting, but you don't need to do that. Uh, do the uh, event stuff, the daily challenge, the chapter challenge mode and uh, like building up your character and you get a lot of gems uh, when you do the chapter channel chapter challenge mode right this is what i have and uh, this is like the only equipment that will help me on this chapter because of its uh, chance to insta kill non bosses i have this just to get one revive if i get killed that is this one is probably the worst boot in the game but i will use it because of the base movement speed the faster you are the easier it gets to dodge the boss's attack this is uh, the tech part that i will use the only one that will affect the game is the purple uh, tech part for the drones all right with no further ado, let's start chapter 33. Now I will try to push my kunai up to 5 star and then pick up the Kuga Ninja scroll. Evo the kunai into the spirit shuriken. And I will also try to pick up the drones and the guardian. Every mob on this uh, chapter are knockable. Uh, you can push them back with a guardian and you need that for this chapter. As for mob control or mob handling just run in a big circle try to push the mobs into the middle much easier to uh, avoid damage and uh, to actually be able to kill the mobs inside it there we go the guardian that is like you really need that one for this chapter you need to be able to knock them back to create an O opening where you can move to a better position. The first elite spawn in in two minute mark. Right, I get the Kunai to five stars now. Now I need to find the Kuga Ninja scroll. And then I can pick up the chest there because you are guaranteed to get an Evo weapon if you have the weapon ready to Evo. And by that I mean you have the weapon skill at five star and you have the supported passive skill for it so right now i will try to level up to get kuga ninja scroll and then pick the chest right first boss i will pick up the chest i didn't get the kuga ninja scroll to handle this boss he will never throw his phones while he is on the move Keep that in mind and stay at a good distance away uh, from him and then move in when he have throw his phones. This way you won't take unnecessary damage. Right, move in. This is how to deal with the manager. Yeah, just make small adjustments when he throw his phone and he won't be able to hit you. Can I? Okay. I just le level up once. Still need the Kuga Nin Ninja Scroll. This uh, chapter gets so much easier with the uh, Shuriken. There we go. And now I just need to level up or to uh, pick up a chest and I will have my Spirit Shuriken. I will remind you about the mob control thing uh, I said before. Before. Uh, walk in a big circle, it try to push the mobs into the mi middle and you should be fine and not taking unnecessary damage. As you can see, I'm still doing the mob control thing, 
where I try to keep them in the middle. I just saw uh, elites. I will have the mobs walk towards me here. And I will then do a half circle down to the chest and get the spirit shuriken. Alright, thank you. Thank you, game. I will pick the bullet light speed plus 10% the ammo thruster. Because uh, ammo thruster is the supported pass skill for the drill shot making it uh, evil into the whistling arrow. However, it will make the guardian spin faster uh, around you and therefore uh, be more lethal. Alright, how to deal with the Raging Treant? Run in a circle uh, around him, yes, be sure, be on the move all the time. When you see leaves spawn uh, around him, he is about to do his projectile attack. Move out, like this, and you won't take unnecessary damage. So this is how it's done, it's much easier when you have the sport shoes uh, pass skill all right that was for the second boss i now have the defender which will make this chapter so much easier it will just push the uh, mobs away from mayo as you can see here most of the mobs doesn't even get uh, close to me Let's check this. I will pick up the sport shoe. Moving faster is just uh, making the game easier for, for you. And uh, HE fuel. Yeah, those two I will uh, try to get now. As you can see, it's very crowded. So be on uh, the move all the time. If you haven't got uh, like lucky to uh, get a uh, Molotov high enough, try to push the cats into the middle as well. I see meat there. Thank you. Uh, I see magnet there. Thank you. I now have the Molotov up to 5 star. I will not pick up the oil bonds. Uh, I will instead try to get the sport shoe. Uh, what did I say? Uh, HE fuel. <laughs> yeah. Right. Have a bomb. Cool. The only downside with the bomb is that when you're using the bomb, you kill a lot of uh, mobs at uh, once and make it uh, possible to spawn more uh, mobs. So the bomb uh, can actually put you in a worse position than before the bomb. It's uh, ironic. Starting to get real crowded here. Try to be on the move. Uh, don't do stupid things like you really want that chest or something like that. If you want that chest, make the horde come towards you. And then make a big half circle around to, get, to be able to get the chest. Okay, we have a meat there. We keep that for the boss. I think if I don't take uh, unnecessary damage here. Just try to push the mobs away from you. I'm now in the search of a magnet. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I want a sport shoe game. Uh, uh, all right, I will pick. Um, I will pick the cool cooldown. There we go. All right, I will uh, miss out on the HE fuel. HE fuel is a really good passive skill. Uh, making your uh, projectiles bigger and have a longer range. Right, uh, the last boss. Taskbor King. This is a fairly easy boss, especially when you have the... When you have the Defender, because with the Defender you can block all of his uh, projectiles. The only uh, attack you need to um, lo look out for is his charge attack, there we go. And that charge attack can actually kill you uh, right away. Just be on the move all the time and you won't be caught off guard when you do his rush uh, attack like so. Right, Taskbor King, bye now. And that's how you beat chapter 33. All right, that was chapter 33. It's done, it's like check and it's done. We continue with chapter 39. As you can see, it's the same setup with the same tech parts. I have just brought this up just a little uh, to have a, a little bit higher attack and a, li a little bit higher HP. And I can't remember if I uh, said this earlier. I use catnip just because 
catnip is at my lowest level. Uh, the other one are, as you can see, much higher level. And I use catnip just to keep my, my stats low. The skills, the weapon skills I will try to get early on are the both the drones and the guardian. It will make this chapter a lot easier. The football uh, can help. I would like to have the whistling arrow to help the kunai with the bosses. Uh, so yeah, I will pick that up. And now I have a room for a drone and the guardian. No other weapon skill than that. We are facing our first elite here. It's not a big, big deal. He has this projectile, but he doesn't have that much of uh, HP. You will uh, end him quickly. I picked the high power bullet there for overall damage because the passive skill doesn't just affect the weapon it uh, supports. It affects everything. I would like you to have the second drone before the first boss, but I don't think I will be that lucky. No, but I could lev level up the one I had. All right, the first boss, Giga Stinger, is not a um, tough boss. He shoots big uh, projectiles that split into four, and they travel up, down, left, right. So just make sure you are not in the line of the projectiles, and you should be fine. All right, well, Giga Stinger, die now, and bye now. Pick up that. See if I can level up. No. And yeah, I picked the sport shoe over the guardian. Yes, because I need to be fast to be able to dodge the boss's uh, attacks with more ease. Hopefully I can uh, get some bombs in uh, the corners for the third boss, Sapworm Beta. When you are facing Sapworm Beta on open map, you can actually cancel his projectiles by moving from side to side. When you are doing th that on a square map, you uh, more like push the projectile along with you making it quite hard all right i now ha have all the weapon skills that i want when i get the destroyer from evo type a and b drone i will pick up the molotov as well let's pick up this yes please all right i need the kuga nina scroll now game if you could be so kind no all right i can wait a few more seconds All right, so let's see if I can get the Kuga Nina scroll by picking this up here. Yes! Oh, it feels good to be lucky sometimes. Oh, all right, I will look at my phone because my screen mirroring app uh, didn't work proper. Now I will get a Spirit Shuriken. All right. This boss is actually easy as well. If you are fast and enough and uh, be on the move all the time, he won't be able to hit you with his stomp attack. And not with these either. And his stone projectile attack gets cancelled with the guardian. If the guardian is able to, to hit it. Alright, I will uh, pick up the chest. Let's see if I'm lucky. Yeah. Alright, cool. Looking good here. Let's just take a moment, see uh, what I got and what I need. I would like to have the Exobracer and I would like to have the, um, the HE fuel. Yeah. The Exobracer and the HE fuel, please. If you could be so kind, game. Well, I keep leveling up this one. Uh, ammo thruster, sure. The ammo thruster make the Guardian spin faster, make it more lethal. 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 Uh, the Exobracer, yes, please. And the AG uh, fuel for size and range. I will keep that chest there, trying to level up my uh, weapon skill. And then I will get another Evo weapon, like so. I will pick the chest right before the boss starts to get the whistling arrow. All right, you had your fun now, guys. Die now and buy now. All right, just pick up this, see what else I can get. I will get that with chest. All right, I pick up the chest now and get the whistling arrow. This one does lethal damage on bosses. I can pick up this as well, level up my drones. All right, a bad position here. A really bad position, actually. Let's move. Yeah, let's cancel his projectiles just for a moment. All 
Right, move to the other side without taking any damage. Right, move to the other side again. All right. It will soon be uh, die now, by now. Oh, bad position. Ooh, close one. Okay. Can you please just die now? Okay. I will not be able to pick up that meat. I hope hopefully I will Yeah, get him. Woohoo! Bye now. Die now. Alright. I'm not doing as much damage as uh I want. I will try to get up to the corner. Are we close one every time the guardian stops? Yeah, now I'm t t taking damage. Damn it! Right, football. Do you think? Soccer ball. Sorry, Americans. Of course, I mean soccer ball. Alright. Five more seconds. And then we face the... The fourth boss. This one is more or less the same as the Raging Creant. Uh, but uh, th this one can move and he can spawn uh, minions as well. So try not to bump into those. Uh, try to be on the move all the time. When he do his leave projectile attack, just move out to the sides. And he won't be able to uh, hit you. Alright. Oh, damn it. Ooh. Run straight into one of his uh, roots. Alright. Soon, half his health. Hopefully we can pick up the meat. He's so close to the meat though. Can you please move out of the way? No, of course you can't. Thank you. Alright. Oh, we are so close of dying, huh? Actually, I don't want to be too close to him. I know I can do more damage uh, when I'm closer to him and having the uh, drones hit him. But I, I don't want to risk it. Alright, damn it. I took a lot of damage there. Unnecessary damage as well. Alright. The trick here is to move slowly. Having the horde following you. And hopefully don't get uh, too many spawned in front of you. Alright. Sure. Died once. I won't be able to pick up the meat there. Alright, bad position again. Got through it though. Alright, come on. And pick up the meat, pick up the chest. And say hi to Ocean Lord. These boss can be tricky. Just run along the walls like this. Having him following you. When you're having him close to the wall, it's easier to dodge the bullets. And when you do this, use this opportunity to position him in a corner. Uh, 
and continue doing this. And you you will notice when it's uh, time to um, move like a, a, a lot because of his pro ejectile thing. Hey, did you run out of bullets? Yeah. You didn't fire your uh, pistol once. Why? Well, I take it sometimes that happens. Uh, when you do this projectile stuff, just move away from it and try to for foresee how they will bounce. He only fires one or two times each time he fires, so it's uh, quite easy to dodge when you use my method that I couldn't show you, but I have taught you. <laughs> Oh, all right. And that was chapter 39. This is actually a recording I did today. Uh, I, <laughs> I I got a sore back <laughs> for sitting in this chair uh, all day. And I just um, uh, took my phone and sat down in a really comfy chair and uh, just uh, did a re recording there. So I will do commentary on this run, which is a successful run. I will show, yeah, as you can see here, I have uh, the, the same setup, but I, I have increased attack and increased HP. And you saw the tech parts as well. Two golden and the rest are purple. On this chapter, I will aim to get the guardian, both of the drones, Molotov. It's quite important to have the Kai leveled up early and the drones level up early to be able to kill the mobs, pick up the biofuel they drop and keep on leveling. And you need to do this fast. You will face a real crazy mob wave from 11 minutes and it will basically last for <laughs> Uh, for four minutes until uh, you face the last boss. The laser comes to good use on uh, this chapter and all, basically on every vertical map chapter. The laser with uh, purple or better tech part on slows the enemies. You saw it on the butterflies. They have this like pink or purple uh, circle below them. That means that they have been hit by the laser and are slow. You can slow elites as well. All right, take take a look at my uh, mob control here. I walk from side to side. I do this because if I just stand still or in uh, the middle. They walk up to you like this. If you move from side to side, they have to go like this. And with with the laser hitting them, making making them slower, it takes like days <laughs> for the mobs to actually reach you. Uh, the fire breathing lizards have uh, some range. But most of the mobs here uh, only have coalition damage. And since you uh, have projectile damage, uh, this is a really good way to, uh, to handle the, the mob, to have mob control. Another good thing with the laser is actually cancel poison pools. It's like mobs on <laughs> the ground taking care of the, the pools which is very convenient yeah i picked the he fuel there for uh, size up and range to my uh, weapons the fire will uh, become bigger the guardian will have bigger blades and they will reach further oh yeah we will paste with the first boss no. Damn it. I do it after the boss then. This boss is uh, easy, but his stomp attack can basically one shot kill you. 
so don't get hit. <laughs> That's my pro tip. <laughs> Alright, that was the first boss, and this is what I want to show you. Yeah, like, subscribe and put on notification and you won't miss out on any of the fun. Um, a quick note, uh, all animation you see in uh, uh, within this channel, every... Um, Every like uh, sticker, every uh, overlay, everything uh, from still animation to moving animation. I have done it uh, myself uh, and I didn't know how uh, two uh, months ago uh, when I started my uh, YouTube channel. But now uh, I know. <laughs> I learned and I uh, trying to do uh, the uh, top high quality content for you you guys enough uh, about me let's continue again you see how I'm walking from side to side it's to make the mobs slower and be able to kill uh, them these ones are uh, more like uh, you get more out of uh, killing uh, this one because you get blue or golden uh, biofuel from previous mobs uh, you only got green the blue uh, no the red fire breathing lizards I uh, used to call uh, them and the blue firing breathing lizards for Wallace because it's faster to say yeah, this Wallace here, uh, just keep doing what I've uh, said there, with uh, moving from side to side. Uh, let the laser uh, hit them all, make them slow. There is a, um, uh, a, a cap how um, many mobs that can be spawned on uh, this chapter uh, simultaneously. So I will not try to kill as much above me as below me. With uh, this method, uh, I will I will not get uh, overwhelmed by uh, this uh, mob wave. The mob wave <laughs> in uh, 11 minute mark, not so much. I always pay uh, attention from what the uh, crates is dropping me like meat, bombs, uh, magnets and I try to like keep those in mind knowing that if I take damage I have meat there and uh, if I am uh, about to get overwhelmed I have a bomb there and uh, stuff like that and here we have our setup this is like the ideal setup uh, for this uh, chapter with the setup I have uh, used. On the weapon skill I have the shuriken, I have the guardian, I have the molotov laser and both of the drones. Uh, I have the high power bullet, or chew, HE fuel, a kuga ninja scroll, ammo thruster and exo bracer. I don't want to change any of these passive skills. The high power bullet for uh, overall damage, a sport shoe for extra movement uh, capacity so you can easily dodge the bosses HE fuel for size and range Kuganinia scroll for leveling up faster and to get the spirit shuriken the ammo thruster to make the laser and the uh, guardian more lethal and the exo bracer to be able to evo the uh, guardian into the defender Alright, I will leave that chest uh, to see if I can lev level up my weapon skill a, a little more before the second boss. Yeah. I pick it up now because I will not be able to level up uh, that much <laughs> in these 15 seconds to go before the uh, second boss. 
the second boss, Sand of Chaos. Mr. Sand. It's a really easy boss, actually. Uh, even his charge uh, attack is quite slow. You can uh, block his uh, stone uh, projectile attack with your guardian. So yeah. Alright, the last uh, weapon skill is the uh, drill shot. I do have the armor cluster. So yeah, I, I will be able to get the whistling arrow. But the whistling arrow doesn't help, help that much with the mob waves and on this chapter the bosses is not the bigger problem here, it's the mob waves. And you will see what I'm talking about in uh, just a few seconds. And here I'm taking notes, where do I have my bombs, where do I have my meat. Here I shouldn't have been so eager uh, picking, the, um, picking the chest, I uh, should have uh, picked up the meat instead. Because of this will lead to my death. Right, while I'm still uh, uh, have a damage in my unity, I uh, uh, ran down. And here, this is what I've uh, talked about be uh, before. It's just a certain uh, amount of mobs that can be spawned here. So I'm now trying to kill uh, the ones below me rather than those above me. To, um, yeah, to make uh, this wave. Uh, easier and here we have uh, a elite ready to ruin my day yeah uh, and it did they can revive I uh, picked the um, a bomb there and picked up meat as well now I have um, in uh, spire on because I killed the elite And my stuff is pretty much a uh, max to level. More or less. Uh, those two kills there could have been uh, avoided if I uh, were able to pick up the soccer ball instead of the whistling arrow. Uh, I uh, will show you the damage uh, each skill. Uh, have done after uh, uh, the completion of this chapter and the whistling arrow is doing a lot of damage yeah it does but it uh, just hits a single target but very fast the soccer ball would help, help, help me a lot more with the mobs and I uh, would most likely have died there. And what you see, uh, see me doing now is I try to um, get the mobs hit by the laser. And uh, when I when I notice they have been hit, I walk down make the same thing to the mobs below me, walk up, repeat. And real soon, I will chicken out on this <laughs> method and place myself to the wall. I'm just gonna uh, run from side to side. 
right? Yeah, here. I just, uh, I just stood there uh, still. And was like praying <laughs> for the mobs not to uh, be able to hit, hit me. And they couldn't. Here is the um, how my skills look now before I faced the last boss. And here we have the last boss. Actually, I haven't met this boss that many times, and I actually forgot his um, his uh, attacks. He has those like small uh, uh, rockets. And have that big rocket that do a lot of damage. He um, spawns some mi minions, and he uh, has this like blue orb thing. The blue orbs uh, dies right away because of the fire. So yeah, you just have uh, it's like move like this uh, above him or below him. All right, and for the Total damage. See it here. The destroyer is really, really doing a good job. The laser actually surprised me by doing that high of damage. Uh, the shuriken, yeah, I uh, know <laughs> how much damage it does. And the whistling arrow actually managed to do a lot of damage. The last one. Yeah, that was a good run. And that's it. That was the tutorial for chapter 51. <laughs> and that were tutorials for chapter 33, 39 and 51. And if you find this uh, video helpful, uh, educational <laughs> or just entertaining, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave the vi video a, a like, put on the notifications so you won't miss out on any of the fun. And um, subscribing to the channel means you become a supportive family member. Become a supportive family member today. Alright, until next time, take care, bye!